what is your thought with you're buying existing product and today prices are going so high you see a lot of i guess you would say value add syndicators now uh going into ground up development what is your thought on buying existing product versus ground up development yeah what i think you're referring to is it you know people are starting to pay the same cap rates for value add stuff that they would buy for a brand new asset yeah. and we like to buy existing product mm -hmm. because um you're you're through all of the the build process right and i can position my property then below the top of the market because what happens when when economies do turn i mean it, it affects everybody it, it affects multifamily far less than it does any other real estate asset class but what generally happens is pe is people will reach down and pull the resident the tenants up from the lower level so the top guys try to pull up from the B plus guys and the B guys try to find the B minus guys. And it's a big, I call it the sucking of <laughs> from the bottom, right? They kind of suck the tenants up from the bottom. So <clears throat> I, I, I don't, at the very, very top, I don't want to be the price leader in, in an, any market yeah. because there's so many reasons for people to not want to be in that environment. Most of the people like in Florida, there's a thousand people moving into Florida every day. Not a thousand people are uh, able to afford three, four, five, six thousand dollar a month rents. Most of those people, maybe 70%, are just ordinary people and they need ordinary housing. They want a nice place to live. So if I play in that market, I, I set myself up for the biggest demand. And guess what? There's no new supply. Yeah. There's no new supply in that, in that B plus, A minus market. All the new supply is coming in at A plus and A plus plus and plus 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 and yeah. you know it's really nice stuff. So it it always has always put me in the best situation that I can be in. Now if yeah. I'll find if I find a very new asset that I think there's a lot of upside, of course we'd still we'd still do it. Uh, but you know that's kind of hard to find because most yeah. people that build are pretty uh, pretty sharp and they're keeping their eye on rents. Yeah, I like that too, because now you have a moat around your business, which is kind of insulating you from anything new out there because people go, oh, there's new, there's new uh, inventory coming on, there's new product. Well, yeah, but it's $500 more a month than mine. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's a lot of money for anybody. And I yeah. think that, um, you know, it's a whole different client uh, they're getting. And then also if there's a pullback, I always think that like, you know, I had a mentor tell me this years back that when someone... When someone like loses a job or has something shake up economically, financially in their household, uh, they really get hit. They don't just get like a little brush. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're really dropping. You're not just like, oh, I'm going to go A to A minus. It's really like I'm going A to like B minus, you know what I mean? Or something yeah. like this yeah. back into it. And it's just it's just how it works. And I've had it a number mm -hmm. of times when I self-manage properties as well, seeing it firsthand. If you like the content that we've shared here, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. So thank you again and have a wonderful day.